Alright, welcome everybody to episode number 56 of Can We Make Impact Wrestling, the best wrestling promotion in Total Extreme Wrestling 2013. My name is the Mayor Jason Smith, and welcome. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be talking about uh, TNA Genesis 2009. Uh, we're also going to... Uh, we're, we're actually watching uh, AEW Dynamite right now. If you caught my my rant um, uh, yesterday, you know that uh, we're gonna we're probably gonna take a little bit of a, a breather from watching the WWE product. And uh so right now we're watching the uh, AEW Dynamite, the women's tag team matchup on right now. And uh, looks like uh, we just had that wrapped up. And Britt Baker and Bea Priestley are kind of going at it a little bit. And uh, also in this episode we're going to talk about TNA Genesis 2009 as we continue to chronicle the monthly pay-per-views um, in TNA. And uh, we just finished up a, uh, a pay-per-view of our own in-game, so we'll review our champions. Um, as you may or may not uh, recall, Seth Rollins vacated his title uh, after winning it in April to uh, get a shot at the World Championship. So the tournament that concluded at uh, the pay-per-view in the last episode, Adam Cole... Beat Bobby Fish for the win in that one. Uh, our next title, Kenny Omega successfully defended his title um, at uh, the last pay-per-view. He'll be defending his title again today uh, in our TV taping. I think it's time to change my contacts. Uh, Billy Kay successfully defended her title yet again Um she, if you recall, won the title back in April after defeating Kyrie Sane, who had pretty much just defeated damn near everybody uh, in the women's division until Billy Kay came along. And we've got our number one contender uh, in Sue Young, who won a match uh, at the last pay per view as well. So that is set for the pay per view. Uh, our world champion, Seth Rollins, defeated. Uh, the likes of Cody Rhodes, TJP, and Bray Wyatt to win his first Impact World Championship. Bray Wyatt successfully defended his title just once, and that continues a long streak of people who defended the title one time or less since Kofi uh, kind of did his deal there for a while and had the longest run we've had uh, in quite some time. Our World Tag Team Champions... The uh, the team known as Violent Conduct, Michael Elgin and Sammy Callahan. This was a team that I kind of threw together, and uh, they really showed some pretty good chemistry together, and uh, the matches they were putting on had good ratings, so we made it a permanent tag team, uh, gave them the name Violent Conduct, and they went on to win the tag team championships from Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix, which is great because now I can get Penta and Phoenix a good singles run each. Um... And Penta and Phoenix had a really good run from November until June uh, and really did quite well. Uh, Kofi Kingston, <clears throat> excuse me, would uh, vacate his title, I believe. No, he lost his title uh, to John Moxley. Marty Skrull had a good long run with that title. Kofi, uh, not so much. So, a lot of championship turnover here in the last couple rounds. As we see Sean Spears making his way to the ring, he and John Moxley will go one on one. Tully Blanchard with him as well. Huh. 
Sean Spears looking good post WWE. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and advance the game here, and we'll talk about the first match on the card for Genesis 2009, live from the Bojangles Coliseum in Charlotte, North Carolina. As again, I continue to yawn. <laughs> Eric Young and LAX would take on Jimmy Rave, uh, Kiyoshi, who also goes by the name of Sushi, and the name uh, Akira Raijin and Akira... Uh, Kawabata, as uh, my buddy Fire Escape is uh, streaming live now as well, so he's got a pretty awesome uh, stream that he runs. He plays Apex Legends, for those of you who are into that. Uh, next up on the card was the finals of the TNA X Division Championship. So after Final Resolution 2008, um, Eric Young would win the uh, uh, X Division Championship. Oh, by the way, in the previous in the elimination match, Eric Young and LAX picked up the win in that one. Um, so they they stripped Eric Young of the title because of a fast count, um, and uh, um, and so they did an eight person tournament. They had Eric Young and Sheikh Abdul Bashir. Alex Shelley and Jay Lethal, Chris Saban and Sanjay Dutt, uh, Consequences Creed and Kiyoshi uh, in this eight-person X Division Championship tournament. Um, Eric Young would beat uh, Sean Devari, Sheikh Abdul Bashir. Alex Shelley would beat Jay Lethal. Chris Saban would beat Sanjay Dutt, and Kiyoshi would beat Consequences Creed. In the semifinals, the uh, week prior to Genesis, uh, Eric Young would lose to Alex Shelley. Chris Sabin would beat Kiyoshi, uh, setting up an Alex Shelley versus Chris Sabin final for the X Division Championship. And in that, uh, Alex Shelley would uh, defeat Chris Sabin to win the X Division title. Uh, next up was a straight up singles match uh, between Sheikh Abdul Bashir and Shane Sewell, uh, who. Uh, has worked in WWC, um, he's worked in TNA, he was a referee for a little while in Impact, um, he, um, he won a bunch of titles all over the, the world, um, he's mostly wrestled, um, in the Puerto Rico, um, scene for for a bunch of different promotions, WWC, IWA, um, and then he jumped over and um, went to TNA and then left TNA um, in 2009 and came back to WWC. So uh, Shane Sewell's been around the block quite a bit, and he actually beat Sheikh Abdul-Bashir in this match. So we'll get back in game here. Um, Gene Snitsky retired. Melina retired. Aubrey Edwards got called up. Amber Gallows has retired. Eddie Edwards back from injury. Welcome back, Eddie Edwards, as an upper mid-card guy. I know he's still super pissed that I fired his wife, and I fired him, um, but he's he's back. And what do we got here? A little Moxley action. John Moxley set to make his uh, AEW in-ring debut on Dynamite. It's a lot different. All right, so Eddie Edwards, Davey Richards paired back up once again. I think we have them in their tag team, active tag teams. We do. Cool. 
And, uh, yep, we've got our unread emails. Eddie Edwards is back. Taking a look at our medical, Alex Shelley is uh, on vacation for the next six months. He'll be back a week after he finally gets healthy. He's been out for, um, it'll be just over a year when he comes back. And I cannot wait because Alex Shelley um, was, he had just won the world title. And I'm so disappointed that he didn't get the opportunity to defend it at all. Um, we tried to give it a go. He was able to wrestle and able to compete, but the matches just took a hit rating-wise because he was hurt. So it made more sense just to put him on a long-term vacation, give him the time off, keep him off TV, let him rest, let him rehab, and come back with, um, you know, we'll, we'll try to fit him into, like, uh, maybe the main event picture, or one of the title pictures when he gets back, depending on where he sort of slides into um, our roster. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull the trigger and go forward, and we'll talk about the next match at Genesis 2009, the three-way tag team match for the TNA World Tag Team Championships. The champions coming into this one, Consequences Creed and Jay Lethal, who had beaten Beer Money at, at TV, Prior to this uh, event, remember, Beer Money retained their titles at Final Resolution. Uh, but uh, Consequences Creed and Jay Lethal were in this one. Abyss and Matt Morgan. And, uh, of course, Beer Money Inc. Uh, with Jackie at ringside for this one as well. And Beer Money Inc. would defeat those other two teams and become TNA World Tag Team Champions yet again. Next matchup was the six-woman tag team match for a future TNA Women's Knockout Championship match. So basically, it works a lot like the um, the World Heavyweight Championship match did at Final Resolution. Uh, whomever scores the pinfall gets the title shot. Um, and so you had ODB, Roxy, and Taylor Wilde on one side, uh, and then Raisha Saeed, Raka Khan, and so Sojourner Bolt who were known as the Kongtourage, I don't know either, um, on the other side. And uh, ODB, Roxy, and Taylor Wilde would pick up the win, um, and ODB would score the pinfall to uh, get the title shot. Uh, next is was a no-DQ match between Kurt Angle and Jeff Jarrett. A lot, a lot, a lot of history and drama between those two uh, in both real life and in storyline. Uh, Kurt would actually pick up the win over Jeff Jarrett in his return to TNA pay-per-view. All right, we'll get back in-game. And uh, Joey Janela looks like he's going to stay with AEW. Shakara had an event. Um... Wes Briscoe back to or signs with AAW. Eli Drake has signed with AEW, the former uh, Impact talent. And if we look at his uh, employment history, you see he was with us until his contract ran out earlier this year. And then uh, SmackDown Live. So, really not much happening. So, we'll go ahead and advance. And we'll talk about the final two matches on the card uh, for TNA Genesis 2009. Um, the next match was a very short, strange match for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship between Sting and Rhino. Uh, Sting was the um, defending champion coming into this match. Eight minutes. All this, ma this match lasted. Second to last match on the card, so it wasn't even the main, main event. <clears throat> it only went eight minutes, so thankfully it wasn't the main event, because if I was at a show and the main event was eight minutes, I'd kind of be pissed off. Um, at least a pay-per-view event, anyway. Um, and then the last match, uh, Sting beat Rhino, by the way, in that one. Uh, and then the last match on the card, a six-man tag team hardcore match. On one side, you had Mick Foley... And uh, AJ and Devon Dudley representing TNA Frontline. And then you had uh, the main event Mafia represented by Booker T and Scott Steiner along with Cute Kip. Yes, he was still using that name. Uh, and uh, that's 
um, Billy Gunn, by the way. And uh, hardcore matchup, Mick Foley in the ring making his uh, pay-per-view in-ring debut as a performer. And uh, Mick and the front line would pick up the win in that main event match. All right. Unread emails waiting for us. JWP looks like they're close to closing. They don't have anyone that we really would want, as we've mentioned before, so we're going to just let them fall. Takamichi Noku looks like he's uh, going through some injury recovery. What else we got here? OVW had a show. NXT had a show. ICW UK looks like they're in trouble. Trent Seven would be a good one I would be interested in picking up. couple of guys for uh, for developmental. Kaylee Ray would be a good one to, to pick up for developmental. I wonder if they'd be interested in, in me buying them out. Not yet. Okay. Not yet, but they could be in some trouble. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Nick Aldis has joined AEW, finally leaving some of the other two promotions he was with. All right, and Impact Wrestling is tonight, so we'll go ahead and kick that, and we'll talk about tomorrow's uh, episode, where we'll talk about TNA Against All Odds 2009. Uh, and in this one, you would see the return of Scotty Steiner to uh, singles competition. Um we would see um, the Abyss Matt Morgan tag team breakup, and we would see. Speaking of Nick Aldis, the pay per view debut of Magnus, aka Nick Aldis, who went by Brutus Magnus uh, very early on in his TNA career. Uh, so you'll hear that name quite a bit. All right. We are in the Reed Green Coliseum. And the Reed Green Coliseum is in the southeast region. And I'm going to find out where the hell this place is. It's in Mississippi. Hattiesburg, Mississippi to be exact. Affectionately referred to by fans as the Yurt. Uh, it is home to the University of Southern Mississippi basketball team, men's and women's, the women's volleyball team as well. Opened in 1949, it is a tw uh, used to be a 2300 seat or 3200 seat. Yay dyslexia! It's now an 8000 seat arena, um, and has had subsequent renovations. It also plays host to graduation ceremonies. And actually hosted Bob Dylan for a concert once. That's apparently their claim to fame. Um, and to show you how little I knew about this and how much I know about really irrelevant TV, I thought it said the Red Green Coliseum at first. So, there's that. Alright, so, we have some champions that need to get themselves opponents for our next pay-per-view. The women's championship match is set. Sue Young and Billy Kay. Uh, but we've got uh, Kenny Omega needs an opponent. Violent Conduct need an opponent. Adam Cole, Seth Rollins, John Moxley all need people that they can fight. So, for this one in particular, um, we're gonna we're gonna start with a tag team matchup. I want to get the Wolves up and running, get them active and ready to go. Um, Violent Conduct in their last uh, pay-per-view beat the New Day. Um, so New Day can move to the back of the line. Uh, we had that Fatal 4-Way with the Coffees, the Briscoes, OVE, and the Bucks. Uh, we've got uh, the Shield, but they're going to be busy with their own stuff. Um, Rich Swan doesn't have anything working. Ricochet either. So let's go with the inner city machine guns. 
and we'll see if maybe this which one of these two we'll take the winner of this match and we'll put them into uh, the tag team title picture here All right, and uh, New Day doesn't have anything going on, so we will do a rematch between New Day and Violent Conduct. And we'll put the tag team titles on the line one more time just for chuckles. And we'll see what happens there. Okay. Uh, Kenny needs an opponent. And he's got to put his, his title on the line. So we need to... Uh, we're going to go Pentagon Jr. versus Kenny Omega for the television championship. Okay. We might have to back some of these times down, too. Uh, Adam Cole and his newly won Grand Championship. We'll have him face Adam Page. So I want to get Adam Page's push moving here. This could be one that... Uh, we run with. I don't want the tainted finish. There we go. Okay. I am going to dial these, well, except for this one. This one and the the New Day Violent Conduct match. We're going to keep those 15 minutes because those are title matches. Okay. Uh, Seth and Moxley need championship opponents. So John Moxley going to be rocking that uh, X Division Championship. We'll put Jay White in there and see how these two handle one another as we continue to push Jay White up the ranks. Okay, and now we need to find an opponent for Seth freaking Rollins. So we had Cody, TJP, and Bray Wyatt. Kenny Omega is wielding a barbed wire broom right at the moment, so I'm a little distracted. And there's Pac. Oh, man, this show gets better and better. All right. Um, let's go TJP. Give him a shot at the world champion here. All right, we've got 15 minutes left, and we've got a handful of main eventers. We've got five of them, to be exact. So let's uh, put them all in a match. And we'll get this figured out post-haste. Why did I do a four-way? I apparently don't know how to read. There we go. Bobby Fish, Bray Wyatt, Cody Rhodes, Johnny Impact, Will Ospreay. 15 minutes. That'll 
open our show, I think. Okay. So now, um, I do have some pre-show, post-show time that we can play with that we really don't play with too much uh, for TV. And uh, I'm wondering if maybe we should uh, start uh, figuring that out because it might help us with um, situating the card uh, a little sooner so that we can kind of play around with different stuff uh, as the weeks go on. So let's... Uh, organize our post show or our pre-show actually let's do Pac and Phoenix in the pre-show get that crowd fired up before they go home happy We'll put uh, the Bucks and can we do what else we can do is four. All right, we'll do four. We'll put the Bucks, the Coffee Brothers, OVE, and the Briscoes, similar to what we did at the pay per view. pre-show that too. Let's see what else we got here. So we have no openers, no enhancement talent left. Four lower mid card guys, three mid card guys. Dustin Rhodes. He's such an underrated talent, Dustin Rhodes. Uh, um, I digress. Marty Skrull needs to be sort of re-pushed. And we'll put him with Dalton Castle. It's going to give us five guys left. Post show that. So I guess we'll do a triple threat. And we'll do Davion Everhart. Jay Lethal. And Flip Gordon. show too. We'll actually open the show with that. Okay, and now we've got that one-on-one -on -one match left with Desmond Xavier and Sean Spears. Every damn time. Okay. All right. So our men's roster is pretty well filled out. I think we got everybody. We did.
17 women. 17 women. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's do... Do a five on five. Well, let's do four on four traditional survivor series. Okay, on one side. Let's put let's go be a priestly Sue Young Rosemary and Hmm. Kira Hogan. And on the other side, we'll put Billy Kay, Candice LeRae, Chelsea Green, and Asuka. And that's going to give us eight so we've got nine women left so let's do two, let's do six woman tag and we'll do Io Shirai and Kyrie Sane Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville. Britt Baker. No. Mandy Rose and Rhea O'Reilly. Come on. And then finally, Arisa Nakajima, Britt Baker, and Tessa Blanchard. And we'll finish out that uh, come on, that final fifteen minutes. We have used up every possible minute <laughs> that we could. So let's kick this show off here. All right, we kick it off with uh, that traditional Survivor Series match B minus rating for us. Billy Kay, Candice LeRae, Chelsea Green, and Asuka got the win. B minus rating out of. Jay Lethal, Devian Everhart, and Flip Gordon. That's one we can keep an eye on. Our tag match that was almost identical to the one... It, it is identical to the one we did last time. So we're going to have to figure out something else to do with that. But it is on the table for us. And the problem is none of these guys have 
a good push. So if we put them like one on one, like Coffees versus Briscoes, we're gonna take a hit in the rating because they're lower mid cards, and it'll give us that error that says nobody wants to watch jobbers. Blah blah blah. D plus, ouch, out of Arisa Nakajima, Britt Baker, and Tessa Blanchard. So that's not gonna make the card. Pac versus Phoenix was really good, so we'll keep that one ready to go. A B out of the five-way between Bobby Fish, Bray Wyatt, Cody Rhodes, Johnny Impact, and Will Ospreay. So we'll, we'll back of the mind that one as well. We'll put a pin in it. Definitely put a pin in that one. The Wolves and the Inner City Machine Guns with uh, the Machine Guns getting the win. They become number one contenders to the tag team titles. There we go. John Moxley beat Jay White in a B minus match, so we'll go ahead and book that one out, I think. C plus for Adam Cole and Adam Page. That one is a no. Adam Cole got the win in it, though. Violent Conduct beat the New Day, so they will remain as your champions, and they will face the Inner City Machine Guns. Penta beat Kenny Omega to become the new television champion so pentagon jr is the new tv champ seth versus tjp was really good so we'll pencil that one in and we'll pencil in penta versus omega for the tv title too desmond xavier sean spears not good uh so we'll skip that one not a good six-woman tag match either. And Skrull and Dalton Castle, not good either. But we got a B rating for the show all in all. Increased our popularity in 11 regions. Let's get our ratings and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got that B plus rating that we are so desperately looking for, or the B minus rating, I should say, that gets us to the that eighth region or is it c plus i don't remember which one it is but if we can get that up to that and we can get to national status we can really make some moves all right let's see a lot more a lot of retirements have been happening lately Cody Hawk, Danny Doring, Devin Storm, Rob Van Dam, Shane Douglas. <laughs> All right. Carl Anderson signed an extension with WWE, so we missed out on him. It's kind of a bummer, but... We did a 3.04 rating on Pop TV, so that's something we can be happy with. Um, right there, consistent with our last show. And we have now. We are up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're still at 6. C. Plus. We need 8. Gotta get there. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're gonna keep pushing forward. All right. So, that's going to wrap up this episode. Tomorrow's episode, we'll take you to Impact TV. We'll also talk Against All Odds 2009, the next pay-per-view on the timeline for TNA. Hope you guys enjoy what's left of uh, um, AEW Dynamite. And we'll see you next time. My name is the Mayor Jason Smith. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe wherever you may be watching this show. Till tomorrow, be excellent to each other.